of scriptures we'll start from Matthew chapter number 27 and we go to Mark chapter number 16 Matthew 27 from verse number 62 and then we'll go to Mark chapter number 16 and verse 15 is somebody there now is somebody there now want to go Matthew chapter number 6 27 it says, now, the next day followed, the day of preparation, and the chief priest 
And the Pharisees came together unto Pilate saying, Sir, we remember that the deceiver, while he was yet alive, after three days, I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day. Lest the disciples come by night and steal him away. And say unto the people he is risen from the dead. So that the last error be worse than the first. Verse 65. And Pilate said unto them. Ye have watch. Go. And make it sure as you can. <laughs> and they went and made the sepulchre sure. Sealing the stone. And setting a watch. Go to Mark chapter 16 and verse number 2. And very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away for it was very great. Help me prophesy to three persons this morning. Say neighbor the stone is rolled away. Come on move to three persons and prophesy. Say the stone is rolled away. <laughs> Sit down for me, Akata, my God. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ah, I did a little study and I found some things online. And I began to say that there are seven wonders in the world. And I began to describe all these things. I, wa I was waiting for something wonderful that they would mention. And it was a whole bunch of nonsense. And I thought to myself, how come somebody did not know that the most wondrous thing that ever happened since the creation of time was the resurrection of Jesus Christ? I, I said the most important thing that ever happened since the of creation was the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is anything that the devil fought, it was the resurrection of Jesus. Hey, before Jesus was born, the devil fought him. When he was born, the devil fought him. As he grew, the devil fought him. Even in his death, the devil fought him. On his resurrection, the devil fought him. I am here to tell you, the devil may fight you, but he cannot succeed. The devil may fight you, he cannot hinder you. There is a prophecy that is over your life. There is a prophecy that has come from God. For the Bible says, Jesus said, I have this one thing I received of my father. I have the power to lay down my life. And I have power to take it back up again. It does not matter. Hell or high water that tried to resist it. It was impossible to resist the resurrection. I am here to tell you. There is something that God wants to do. And there are powers fighting. There is witchcraft fighting. There is foundation fighting. There is diabolic powers fighting. There are altars fighting. But I'm here to tell you. Who can stop God? I said who can stop the Lord? Who can stop the Lord? There is nothing that can stop this move of God. And I'm here to prophesy. The word of God concerning your life it will manifest I say it will manifest more 
devil can stop it. It will manifest. Witchcraft can stop it. It will manifest. No Nibia can stop it. It will manifest. If I hear your amen, it will manifest. The question they ask. Who shall roll away the stone? Ladies and gentlemen, in verse 65, verse 63, the Bible tells us it was a man that put the stone there. Certain men came together. They said when this man was alive, he gave a word that in three days after my death, I will rise again. And certain men came together to try to put a full stop to the agenda of God. They tried to secure the sepulchre. They laid the stone at the mouth of the tomb. They were trying to stop. But I read my Bible in Lamentations chapter 3. He said, who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord commanded the north to subvert a man's cause, God will not allow any power trying to stop your prophecy, any power trying to resist the hand of God for your life. If I hear your amen, God will slay them. Power will slay them. Glory will slay them. Let me hear that amen like thunder. They rolled the stone in the mouth of the tomb to keep prophecy from manifesting. Oh my God. You are not hearing me at all. The enemy, they put a stone at the mouth of the tomb to stop a prophetic word. This is why God was telling me to say this word to you. Because there are many of you, you are long overdue for the level you are in now. Where you are now is not where you should be. But an enemy has put a stone to keep you out from your prophecy. You should have been married by now. But an enemy has put a stone to prevent your success. Your business could have advanced by now. But an enemy has put a stone that you will not manifest. But I'm here to tell you, if it is a man that put a stone, there is a God in heaven. He will roll away the stone. He will roll away the stone. He will roll away the stone. Power will roll it away. Glory will roll it away. Fire will roll it away. Angels will roll it away. Angels roll it away. I don't know the stone that is in your marriage. I don't know the stone that is in your career. I don't know the stone that is in your business. I'm here to tell you the time is up. It may have been there for 20 years, but this is the end. Affliction is coming to an end. God said to tell you it is a new season. You may have been in the tomb. It is time to resurrect. Your finance in the tomb is time to resurrect. I don't know what the enemy has locked away from your life. I come by the word of the Lord. I came to announce to you it is time to come out from where they get you. It's time to come out from where they get your business. It's time to come out from where they tap your marriage. High five your neighbor. Say get ready. I am coming out. Say get ready. I'm coming out. They have kept me too long. It's my time to come out. It's my season to shine. It's my season to manifest. Somebody run around shot fire. Yeah, yeah. Hear me. Hear, hear, hear me. Hear me. The problem was who shall roll away the stone? Amandi Katunda. Who? Not knowing that before they got there, wait, you must understand that their mindset was still on Good Friday. Because on Good Friday, before they left the sepulchre, there was a stone at the mouth of the sepulchre. When they got there on Easter morning, they were 
tried expecting to find the same stone there but the Egyptians you saw before I am here to tell you after this encounter you will see them no more you will see them no more you will see them no more the Egyptians in your marriage you will see them no more the Egyptians in your career you will see them no more I don't know who I'm talking to that problem you left at home when you get back home you will find it no more the problem you left at the job when you get back there you will find it no more the tears you left before after this meeting you will find it no more you will find it no more you will find it no more shot fire three times shot again shot again shot again look at this they were expecting to see a problem they were expecting to find a problem but when they got to the site of the problem they found a surprise I heard God this morning he said tell my people get ready for surprises ah, I don't know who you are but God is about to surprise you I say heaven is about to surprise you there is a letter coming it will surprise you there is a phone call coming it will surprise you there is a news coming it will surprise you I don't know who you are but get ready for what God is about to do eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not entered the heart of man the things that God will do it shall be good measure it shall be pressed down it shall be shaken together it shall be running over you don't serve a dead God you serve a mighty God he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever when God says yes no man can say no when God lifts you up no man can pull you down God is on your side Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Lifting is on your side. Somebody raise your hand, shot fire. Raise your leg, shot fire. Turn around, shot fire. Scatter body, hell of fire. Yeah, yeah. Does somebody know what surprise is? Does somebody know what surprise is? Maybe you have never experienced surprise. Let me tell you how it feels to have a surprise. Surprise is when you come to church on Uber and you leave that same church. You were expecting to go back home on Uber but you left with a Lexus. You don't know what surprise is. Surprise is when something you didn't expect, something you didn't plan for, all of a sudden, tada! All of a sudden, tada! I am here to prophesy in 21 days, tada! In seven days, tada! In 20 days, tada! In three days, tada! 21 hours tada by this time tomorrow you will receive a surprise you will receive a surprise heaven will surprise you power will surprise you glory will surprise you somebody have a surprise look at it these are women. No offense. The Bible tells us the stone was very great. Very great. What strength has these women to roll the stone? There are some things you are going through now. Except Jehovah helps you. Oh my God. There are some battles you are facing now. Except God sends you help. 
there is no physical strength in you that can help you to contend the enemy and the situation you are facing but I'm here to tell you the same God that anticipated the problem of the three women saw your problem before you came to this place and he sent me to tell you the storm is run away the storm is run away don't know who I'm talking to. That's Tony, your marriage. I command it right away. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. In Matthew 27, in verse 65, the Bible says the enemy said, make it as sure as you can. You are not hearing me now. He said, make it what? As sure as you can. The enemy is not playing. The enemy has vowed that that your prophecy will not come to pass. They have said, there are many of you now, it is not prophecy again. No. You, anywhere you go, prophecy, prophecy. To the point now, you are almost getting embarrassed when they call you out. Listen to me. Anytime God keep repeating the same word, he said, verily, verily, I say unto you, whenever God keeps speaking again and again, it's because he has found in his holiness that if I be Yeshua and Mashiach, what I have said, it will come to pass. The word of God in Isaiah, the Bible tells us in chapter 50, it begins 55 and 8, it begins to tell us, he said, my word is like rain. He said, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than your thoughts and my ways than your ways. He said, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, it waters the earth, it makes it to board and to bring forth. So is my word that has come from my mouth. It will not return forward until it accomplish that which it was said. The word of God. I said the word of God. It will come to pass for you. Hear me child of God. The Bible tells us in Luke 21 in verse 20, 23. He said the word of God as the heavens remain. He said heaven and earth may pass away but my word shall remain forever. The word of God cannot be stopped. I wish I were talking to someone here. I said God cannot be stopped. Have you not read your Bible? In Numbers 23 in verse 19. God is not a man to lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. God cannot lie. I said God cannot lie. I know they told you that there are things that God cannot do. They said God do everything but I came to announce to you there's something that God cannot do in Titus chapter 1 in verse number 2 he said God cannot lie I said God cannot lie it is impossible in first Samuel chapter 15 in verse 29 he said the strength of Israel cannot lie the strength of Israel he cannot lie in Psalm 139 in verse number 38 he said I have vowed in my holiness I will not lie to David God cannot lie I said God cannot lie I don't know what God has said about you it will come to pass in Hebrews chapter 6 and 13 the Bible says that when God made a promise unto Abraham he swore when he saw that there was nothing that he could swear by he swore by himself that in blessing I will bless you in multiplying I will multiply you in verse 17 he said God was willing to make his promise more evident the Bible says he confirmed it by an oath in verse 18 he said by this oath it is impossible for God to lie I am here to tell you God cannot lie whatever he told you it will come to pass I say it will come to pass I say it will come to pass I 
century come to pass. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the enemy waited at the gate of the tomb. You know, there are some things that are impossible. Hello? Man can stop a moving bullet. Man can stop a moving car. Man can stop a moving train. But man has not devised a technology that can stop prophecy. I'm not talking to someone at all. I say man cannot stop prophecy. The reason the devil is fighting you is because of the prophecy you are carrying. If I carry your prophecy and I give it to another man, the devil will leave you and start fighting that man. Can you fight for your prophecy? Can you fight for your prophecy? Are you man enough to fight for your prophecy? You say, devil, it does not matter what you throw at me. I will stand my ground. The word of God concerning my life, it has to stand. God said I will be the head. It has to stand. He said I will not beg bread. It has to stand. Ah. Is somebody here at all? You must understand that the reason the enemy put soldiers there was because of what Jesus said. Somebody say he said. Somebody say he said. Uh, somebody say he said. In, in Matthew 27, in verse 50, 55, he said the man said that when he was alive, he said what we are fighting was what was said yesterday. The reason the devil is fighting you today is what God said about you yesterday. But I'm here to tell you that the devil fighting you today cannot stop what God said yesterday. For his word, they are yea and amen. He said as the earth remains, he said the word of God is settled in heaven. I am here to tell you, God, what he has said about you in Jeremiah 1 12, he said, I watch over my word to perform it. While the enemy we are watching to stop the word of God, God was watching over his word to perform it. I am here to tell you the powers fighting your prophecy, they are fighting God. The powers saying no to your prophecy, they are fighting God. No one can fight God. Greater is he that has spoken the word than the devil contesting the word. The word of God, it will become flesh. It will become flesh. Look at this. Look at this. The Bible says, the Bible says, and Pilate said to the Pharisees, he said, take soldiers and have what? 27 and 63. He said, and Pilate said, you have what? Go your way and make it what? Whenever a prophecy is given, there are powers standing to watch. Hello? Are you following me at all? I am trying to explain to you why, why come? Somebody say, why come? What has been said seems to be lingering. And you are wondering, is that man a real man of God? Yes, he is. But you must understand that there are powers standing on every side. The Bible says they put the stone at the door. Somebody say at the door. Somebody say at the door. They didn't put the stone anywhere else at the door. You must understand that any time there is an open door before you, the devil stands at the door to resist your passage. That is why the Bible says, he said in Psalm 23 and verse 5, he said, thou prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and 9, he said, God has opened an effectual door, a major door for me. But there are many adversaries. There are powers standing that you can't cross. God said you will be that. But there are powers that are drawn a land in the sand. They said you can't enter the fulfillment of what God has said about you. But I'm here to tell you today, if they could not stop Jesus, 
they cannot stop you. If there was ever a time that the devil fought prophecy, it was the prophecy of Jesus. But I read my Bible in Acts 2 and 4. Peter said, he said it was impossible for death to hold this man. Somebody holla, it's impossible. In 1 Corinthians 15, in chapter 55, the Bible says, Paul said, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? The devil tried to stop him. There is something about the resurrection of Jesus that made it impossible. It was the first time that God unveiled the power of the resurrection because until this time this power has never been sufficient no wonder Paul said in Philippians 3 and 10 that I may know him in the power of this resurrection somebody had a power in Romans 8 and 11 Paul began to speak he said if that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead if he dwells in you he that raised him from the dead that is resurrection power in in Ephesians chapter number 1 in verse number 18 Paul said he said as it is written he said that the eyes of your understanding might be enlightened that you might know the hope of his calling and his riches and glory the inheritance for the saints the greatness of his power at work in us who believe the same mighty power that he wrought in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead the power of his resurrection no devil can stop it the power of his resurrection no devil can hinder it it will manifest in your life He said, he wrought this power in Christ Jesus. You know what it means? It means he demonstrated it. Uh, when you create a new car, a prototype, hello, you test it. Are you hearing me now? The first time this power was unveiled was the resurrection. Because the devil put strong soldiers, demons, physical and spiritual, to resist it. Number one of those devils was, was hell himself. Number two was death. Number three was the grave. These were the strongest principality of Satan to resist prophecy. But I read my Bible, Revelations 1 and 18. When Jesus Christ defeated them, he came out of the grave. He said, I am he that liveth and we are dead. I am he that liveth and we are dead. He says, I have the key to hell and death. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who locked the door and they said you won't come out. I came to give you the key. I don't know who locked you in a dark room. I came to open the door. I don't know who said you can't get married. I came to open that door. I don't know who said you can never settle in America. I came to open that door. I came to open your door. In this land that they said you can't settle, you will own houses. In this land where they say you can't be anything, God will so bless you. You will be the head and not the tail. Shout and receive. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you something last week. It is a principle of fulfillment of prophecy. Before Jesus died, he said, somebody say he said, Talk to me, say he said. Come on, say he said. Every time Jesus will tell you, when he sees a temple, he said, This temple, I will tear it down. And in three days, I will build it up. What are you saying? How can you build a temple that was built in 46 years? In three days, they hated him. He will go again. He will say, Except a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it shall die, it will bear fruit. What kind of things is he saying? He said it so much. He said, notice, we are going to Jerusalem. He said, the son of man shall be bound. He shall be crucified. But on the third day, 
day you will get back up again. Somebody hala talk your prophecy. Somebody hala talk your prophecy. He said it so much until Peter called him aside. He said, This thing you are always saying, you need to stop speaking negative. How come you are saying that we die, 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 die? Don't you know that what the power of life and death are in your tongue? He was trying to preach to Jesus, and Jesus said to him, You must understand, I was not born to live. I came to die. The greatness of my prophecy is not in my bed. The greatness of my prophecy is not in my life. The greatness of my prophecy is my resurrection. He kept talking his prophecy. How I talk your prophecy. Habakkuk chapter 2 and 2. He said write the vision. Make it plain that they may run that read it. You need to read your prophecy. All that scrapbook you are keeping about folk who hurt you. You need to start writing your prophecy. Start calling those things that be not as though they are. Start writing what you see five years from today. Start declaring ten years from today. That is why you see me shouting. And you are saying, Pastor, we can hear you now. Three Sundays in a row, I came to tell you, I see a crowd, people waiting outside. That is why I'm shouting now. Because you are not Madasha. Somebody holla, talk your prophecy. Holla, talk your prophecy. You must learn to declare your prophecy in Numbers chapter 14 and 28. He said, as you have said in my ears, that will I do. Holla, talk your prophecy. In Job 22, in verse 28, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established. Holla, talk your prophecy. In Job 33, in verse number 8, he said, you have said and I have heard the voice of your word. Holla, talk your prophecy. Somebody, holla, talk your prophecy. You must learn to begin to speak in 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. The Bible begins to tell us in verse 13, he said, he has said, he said, we say, we declare, therefore we say, he said, it is written, the same spirit of faith, according that is written, I believe, therefore, I have spoken, we believe, therefore, we speak, if you believe, you will speak, if you believe, you will speak, if you believe, you will speak, in Romans chapter number 8, in verse number 10, the Bible says, in Romans 10 and 8, the Bible says, he said, what is it then? The word is nigh thee, even the word of faith, which we preach, for if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved, for with thy heart, man believes unto righteousness, but with thy mouth, confession is made unto salvation, for as it is written, whosoever shall call upon him, shall not be ashamed, for the same God, there is no difference between the Jews and the Greek, for the same God, is rich over them all, for as it is written, whosoever shall call upon his name, shall be saved, for the Bible says, when you call upon him, you will be saved, but how can they call on him, on whom they have not believed, how shall they believe, on whom they have not heard, how shall they hear, except a preacher preach, how shall a preacher preach, except a preacher is sent, as it is written, Tell somebody if you believe it, you will say it. The reason why your vision, your prophecy is not manifesting because you have not said it. Every time you say your prophecy, you are not seeing it. I'm not talking to somebody now. Every time you say what God told you. That is why every time you are calling me Pastor Rich, you think you are calling me Pastor. You are helping me declare my testimony. Am I talking
talking to somebody now. If your name is a set of changes, am I talking to somebody now? If your name is a set up where it may lead you to trouble, change it to, am I talking to somebody now? You need to call yourself Abraham. Am I talking to somebody now? You need to address yourself by what you see in your life. I see myself. I will shut this town of Texas. Am I talking to somebody now? That is why I'm rehearsing by the grace of God upon my life. I am too anointed to be relegated. I am too gifted to be small. The word will hear my voice. There is something that God gave me. It is my prophecy. My prophecy is my pregnancy. It may tarry. It will not be denied. It may delay. It will not. I am here to tell you what God has said to you. Hold on to your prophecy. Hold on to it. I say hold on to it. I say hold on to it. Can I talk to you? If you are pregnant, mind who you hang with. Oh, Jesus. The reason the brothers of Joseph we are hating, they were not pregnant. Uh, you're not following me now. You say, Pastor, what do you mean? When God told Mary, he said, Mary, you are going to conceive. How? I'm not married. Forget about marriage. The power of the Holy Ghost will come upon you and something will enter your womb. And the woman said, be it unto me according to your word. He left that encounter. He went to meet Joseph. He said, Joseph, I am pregnant. Joseph said, Chinek, I didn't touch you. How did we meet? He said, you don't understand. The of the Holy Ghost has come upon me. What Holy Ghost? What are you talking about? As I'm speaking to you now, I am divorcing you. This relationship is over. Give me back my ring. He was hating on Mary because she was not pregnant. Mary left that joker, went to the house of a woman that was carrying supernatural pregnancy. As soon as a person carrying supernatural pregnancy, Met with a woman carrying supernatural pregnancy. Ah, yeah, Chalamande, when you are carrying prophecy, hang with folk who are going somewhere. When you know your tomorrow is massive, hang with folk who have a massive destiny. The reason there is jealousy is because they are afraid that they cannot contain, they cannot compete where you are going. But if you are pregnant and I'm pregnant, well, let us go. Because when you deliver, it's only a matter of time. I will deliver my own. I have your neighbor. Say I'm not jealous. I don't know what you are carrying, but I celebrate for you because very soon I will pregnate. If you are pregnant, how we pregnant folk? Only how we can do people. The kind of dreams lately I've been dreaming. Not in my bed though, while I'm standing. I'm talking about daydream. Not sleep dream. Oh. The kind of dream I dream sometimes. If many years ago, because sometimes when we say this thing is like, ah, pastor, me that don't have green card. Many years ago, I had just left. <laughs> I had just left home, going to college, and I began to write the things I wanted to have in my room. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me preface this by saying. My house was not very posh. My house was not plastered. There was no paint. My house was only cemented. Some parts. No carpet. The TV we used to watch in those days. You had to. Then you do like this. But if you are not careful. And you smack it. It keeps flipping. But if you are skilled. 
we'll just stand still. It took a while, but we finally got it. <laughs> True story. So, when I wanted to get color TV in those days, I took Lucozen, the orange wrap, and paste it, color TV. Everybody was orange. Black, yellow, all of everybody orange. <laughs> so when I was leaving home, I said to myself, ah, I began to write a list of the things I wanted in my room. Guess what I wrote? Number one, color TV. Chai! Chineke, I'm about to arrive. Color TV, in bracket, Tokumbo. If you don't know what Tokumba means, Tokumba means Tokumba. The next thing I wrote, air bed, chai. Say, Pastor, why air bed? Because the bed I had didn't even have a covering. It was skin to foam. I didn't say skin to mattress, skin to foam, foam, foam. Say, Pastor, I was life that bad. Okay, don't worry. When you see me shout, you understand where I'm coming from. None of this is usual for me at all. I'm not talking to somebody now. My God. The other thing I wrote, I wrote carpets. I had to have it to carpets. The next thing I wrote, gas cooker. Portable. No more loading wood. <laughs> I'm telling your story now. I know you are here and I act like you are know, faster. Oh, wow. 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 You, you know. But ladies and gentlemen, watch it. When I totaled the amount of everything, guess how much? 35,000 Nigerian Naira. When I saw it, I said, Chai. I tore the thing. I said, somebody will just be, you play too much. I waddled it and I threw it away. Because where I was at that time, I didn't think a man like me could ever rob 35,000 together, let alone splurge it for such luxury. Ah, Jesus, I, I'm talking real story now. Little did I know, ladies and gentlemen, that a day we come will become my Sunday offering. Are you hearing me now? How much is, how much is 35,000? That's $100. If an angel appeared to me while I wanted that thing away and said, son, you see what you are selling impossible today? The day is coming. It shall become your Sunday offering. I would have said, What? I am trying to tell you where God is taking you to. Oh, Jesus. I, 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 I am trying to make you see the reason you are going through all this go through. Because where God is taking you, if they told you now, you will not believe. If they told you now, it will seem like a dream. But I'm here to tell you, keep on dreaming. I said, keep on dreaming. I said, keep on dreaming. Keep on dreaming. It won't be long before your dream becomes a reality. So dare to believe. Dare to believe. Dare to believe. There is something about believing. If you believe, it begins to affect you. There is a way you can worry, worry, worry and it begins to affect your blood. How about you start getting excited over the future that is on paper? Oh, Jesus. You're not hearing me now. I don't care where you live. Drive yourself to a nice neighborhood. Begin to look at them houses. <laughs> See my bedroom. <laughs> when I'm moving, I'll just change the color. I'm talking to somebody now. Take your kids to a nice neighborhood. 
begin to drive around and begin to imagine how rich folk live. Say, honey, we may be eating tomato sandwich today, but the time is coming. Things are going to change. Begin to put can-do mentality in your head. The reason sometimes things are difficult because you are not thinking greatness. When you are not thinking greatness, you cannot see greatness. It is what you expect that you see. A man came to our father in the Lord this morning. He said, are you surprised at what you see? The man said, no, I'm not surprised. Oh. I would have been surprised if what is happening now is not happening. Hello. The Bible says the women left home with their spices in their hand. They knew the tomb was closed, but it did not keep them from going. Sit down, let me talk to you. The tomb is closed. The man they want to anoint is inside the tomb. Yet, they still carry spices. Expecting, I don't know how it will happen. But this spice must touch his body. Somebody say faith. Come on, say faith. Some folk don't have faith at all. All they have is mouth. Listen to me, what is faith? Faith is praying that it will rain. Prayer is praying that it will rain. Faith is going out with an umbrella. Are you hearing me now? Start living your faith. Start living your faith. You say, Pastor, I don't have, I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I'm not married. I'm not, I don't have somebody yet. So how, go and try out a wedding gown. You say, Pastor, go and start, by, and listen to me, you need to act your faith. Act your faith. The women left home. Their purpose was to anoint the body of Jesus. They knew the tomb was closed. But they kept going. You are having all these dreams. What steps are you taking? I'm going to be a graduate someday. And yet you have never stopped working over time. To go to school. You say, Pastor, I just want to work and save some more money and then I'll go to school. He's a lie. Oh, you will walk, 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 walk. And time will just go. You said that three years ago, Pastor, just want to just, let me just pay some bills. Things are tight now. He's a lie. Oh, you need to stop what you are doing and get back to school. You say, Pastor, it's hard. I don't know math. Get back and know math. Am I talking to somebody now? Don't grow your wings before you fly. Fly and grow your wings down. Am I talking to somebody now? You need to come to a point. I'm going to jump off this mountain. If I perish, I perish. But can I tell you, somewhere between the jump and the landing, wings will develop. Am I talking to somebody now? You need to begin to have faith in your tomorrow. Have faith in your future. Have faith in where God is taking you. Somebody here now. In my house, in my bathroom, on the refrigerator, there is something that my wife and I wrote there. I won't say it. Every time we go there, we read it. Hello? No, all you keep is folks who hurt you. Your diary is secret, so nobody can open it to you. Because you are every secret. My husband, four, four, four years ago, he cheated, write it down. This happened. Every heart on earth is on that book. You are wasting your ink. Waste. Rather than you keeping scrapbook of the greatness you see. On my phone, when I go place, I just snap. I snap. I'm keeping scrapbook of my tomorrow. My father in the Lord Apostle Suleiman, when he was before Omega became Omega, when he goes somewhere, he will take the map of the world and start claiming. I claim, I claim, I claim, I claim, I claim. The map of the world. Many years ago, when they go to meetings, he will tell his pastors, go and watch the car. Which car? <laughs> the last time I checked, we walked here. My friend, go and watch the car. Make sure you wash the wheels. When you are finished with that one, wash the second one. Then you, go and watch the third one. Pastor, pastor, which car? Get out of here, go and watch the car. What, what, what is he doing? He sounded foolish then. But today, the man has given out 490 cars. Listen to me. Talk the future you see. Don't talk 
think about the foolishness around you. When God appeared at the brink of creation, the Bible says the earth was without form and void. There was darkness upon the face of the deep. But God never once spoke of the darkness. He looked at the darkness and he began to say, let there be light. There was darkness everywhere. He never addressed the darkness. He never verbalized the darkness. He began to call light because it was light he wanted to see. That is why in Genesis chapter 1 and 3, the Bible says, God said in verse number 6, he said God said in verse 11, he said God said in verse 16, he said God said in verse 20, he said God said in verse 24, he said God said in verse 26, he said God said in verse 31, God saw. Before you will see it, somebody has to talk it. You need to start having talking sessions. Ah! Learn to talk to yourself. Those time you are spending on Netflix, start talking to yourself. Start creating your future with your mouth. The Bible says he collects those things that be not as though they are. Begin to decree. I'm going to be so blessed. In my family when I cough, nobody speaks. I will be so blessed. I will build homes for widows. I will be so blessed. I will send men on scholarship. I will be so blessed. My finances will cause a wave. I will be so blessed. That when blessing see me, blessing will know that this one is blessed. I will be the most blessed man in my family. I will be the richest man in my family. I will be the head and not the tail. You need to talk to yourself. It does not matter the face of your business. Your business may not be working. Begin to say my business is growing. You may not understand your studies. Begin to say I understand my study. I have a good mind. Begin to declare I am the head and not the tail. Greater is he that is in me than the devil that is in the world. I am going somewhere. A place where no one has been before. I will get a good job. I will build a house. I will have children. Begin to declare what you want to see. Confess your future. Stand to your feet. Lift up your hands. Two Sundays I've told you this. Repeating what I told you. To begin to declare words. Stretch your hands forward. Begin to declare what you see. I'm graduating. Begin to declare what you see now. Begin to declare. Speak it with boldness. Begin to declare. I'm getting a good job this year. They have denied my document several times. But I'm getting my green card this year. Begin to decree. Declare the words. Declare the words. In the name of Jesus. Now you're going to decree in prayer. Listen to me. I want the next five minutes to be very intense. Father, every stone that the enemy has put in my way to prevent me from accessing my future, as I pray, angel of God, roll it away. Listen to me. You are going to clap and pray. I want you to set this place on fire. Are you ready now? Say, my father, my father. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. As I pray now. As I pray now. Every stone. Every stone. That the enemy has put 
in my way to prevent me from assessing my destiny as I pray now. Angel of God, roll it away. Roll it away. Roll it away. Clap your hand and fire pray. Listen to me in Omega. We pray. Yes, sir. We don't sell oil, we don't sell pepper. We pray. Are you hearing me now? If you can pray, that thing can change tonight. Are you hearing me now? Yes, sir. Listen to me. This is you now. You are trying to assess something, but there is a roadblock. The enemy has put a stone. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a man that put a stone there. The stone didn't just appear. The enemy put the stone there intentionally to prevent prophecy from manifesting. Uh -huh. Lift up your hand. Listen to me. Father, every stone my enemy has put in my way to prevent me from making progress as I pray, angel of God, roll it away. Roll it away. Are you ready now? Yes, sir. Raise your hand of fire. Say, my father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. As I pray now. As I pray now. Every stone. Every stone. That man has put in my way. That man has put in my way. Every stone. He stole. That has been put in my way. That's put in my way. To prevent me. To prevent me. From making progress. From making progress. As I pray now. As I pray now. Angel of God. Angel of God. Roll it away. 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 Roll If you will do what I'm telling you, you uh -huh. will come back to this house. You say, Pastor, after I left here, the prayer we are praying, you are going to see tonight. Amen. There are many of you now, the enemy has locked you and thrown away the key. The Bible says the enemy put Jesus in there and they closed the door. Listen to me, a sepulcher, you must understand, has no windows. So the only source of light is through that one door. And the enemy has put a stone to cover it. So in that room now is darkness. The enemy put them in darkness to prevent him from seeing light. But I pray for you. Take it. Every darkness that they have used uh -huh. to hold you down. Uh -huh. Every power of darkness That's surrounding your life. Uh -huh. If I hear your amen, I command that darkness 
Destroy! Yes, sir. The Bible says, and they said, men, they said to the men, keep watch. They said to the men, do what? Keep watch. Keep watch. Whenever there is a prophetic word, they are monitoring spirits. Whenever there is a prophetic word, they are monitoring spirits. Monitoring what comes in and what goes. But I like what happened. The Bible says, and there was an earthquake. Somebody holla, earthquake. Earthquake. Holla, earthquake. Earthquake. He says, as the earthquake, the Bible says, those that were guarding the tomb, they fell down dead. Can you pray now? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I pray. As I pray. Every power. Every power. Monitoring my destiny. Monitoring my destiny. Every power. Every power. Monitoring my my body, my marriage. My body, my life. My body, my life. I see them. As I pray now. Clap your hand and fire. Yakwara. 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 There is somebody here, you dream, you see yourself lost in a dream. Quickly, run out. You see yourself lost as though you are, you are trying to figure your way out. And you wake up. Quickly, come. Mashanamai. We are going to pray. An angel will show you the way out. Makaso Bragita. Melissa Kwade Naratia. Leketin Zagotoshia. Makasin Norada Kiatova Negadia. There is a woman here. You have problems with your bowels. You have problems with your bow. And what the Lord is telling me, I need to pray for you. Makiso Pratinda Le Suvra De. I don't know what it means. It's just said you have problems with your bow. Meshaya. I'm hearing this song. Yes, 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 the same way ah. yeah, touch, touch me, me with you your love Jesus, please keep touching the keys. I can't.
cancel miscarriages in your life. Amen. I don't know who you are, but God said to tell you, the last one is the last one. Shamamande Larabo Sharabai. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God of higher. There is somebody here, you are having problem with your landlord. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no place for argument. Oh, you are God all by yourself. You have times and seasons in your your hands everyone I want to break what is holding you I want your faith to be so open now wherever you are the power of God will touch you like a lightning my father Katone, Lord Teresa Lord there is somebody here who could have been further ahead in life but the enemy has put a stone in their way to prevent them from making progress. Somebody should have been married by now. But the enemy has wedged them with a stone. Somebody could have been further led in life. But they have used a stone to keep them out. Lord, wherever they are, from my left to my right, from my left to my right, I command power. Holy Ghost, Rakapa, Rekete, Yakota, 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 Power, Shakatora Mande, Loose them, Regadagadagada Shakataya, Kalamosha, Makataya. Father, there are three persons here who must be delivered today. They must be delivered from whatever is holding them. Wherever they are, from my left to my right, I throw power into the crowd now. Holy Ghost, where are they? Take Shakatarama, Yakwate, 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 Yakwate. Shikata, healing is flowing. Healing is flowing. Healing is flowing. Just touch the strings, nothing heavy, just the strings. Healing is flowing now. Marco Saria, where this where's the person I said? Something with the bows. Where are you? Maron de Redeba Shalamaria. Lord, Tesaya. Mizaya Lamo, take this. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, perform a work now. At the mention of your name. I release fire now. Shababa Kora Naha. De Shonda Libro Hoshaka. Yakonos Eprahanda. Fire! Shatore Nakista Kalade. Bushandere Christoga. That devil of infirmity I command it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ouch! Shamamana no I rebuke that infirmity in your stomach. I rebuke it. Ouch! Thank you, Jesus. Salabon Teragaskia. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command that infirmity to cease. And I rebuke it. Holy Ghost, whatever be not of God, I charge it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Ouch! Shamamanabo Kritasa. Yeko Talamande. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Neso Prakita. Legodon Sedebai. Jesus. Touch. 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 Jesus' name. It's over. I command it to cease. I rebuke that infirmity. Ouch! Salaman de Cressova holiday. In the name of Jesus, I command that infirmity that manifests in your life, even through dreams. Fire! In the name of Jesus, I deliver you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire! I deliver you out of that dungeon. Loser! 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 I command fire to set you free. I command fire set her free. Fire set her free. Loser! Fire! Ouch! Ouch! Set her free! Set her free! Set her free! Set her free! I command that experience to be over. I terminate it. Seize in your life. Never again. Never again. I rebuke it. I command you to see out of that darkness. I bring you out of that maze and I deliver you into your highway. By the hand of an angel, come out of that darkness. Ouch! Ouch! Come out. That darkness is over. Ouch! Laboron de Shilaba Karuja Takaleto Hosianama. Shibaba Kotorisa. Shakapon Zerika Toramande Karisa Sa. Regadeja Naman Koteria. Ouch! Fire! 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 Fire Naramosha. Lakatoma Ligade. Kalamon de Rebo Shikata. Out of her! command wherever they put you by the hand of an angel I deliver you by the hand of an angel somebody here I need to pray for you there is heaviness on one side of your body heaviness where are you where are you quickly heaviness on one side of your body as I lay hands on you I was hearing that Heaviness. You will not get a stroke. As I lay hands on you, the Lord says, somebody is having heaviness on one side. Hold my hands. Do you know anyone who's had a stroke before? Eh? You've had a stroke before. The Lord is saying, this is stroke. You've had a stroke before. Nana ma so la mane nana baya Zegrado shalamande Sabako ramane Sebra kitara so pratai Father I command that arrow Back to sender Whoever fired it I fire it back What they meant for you they will carry it Jesus, Salamai. Woman, God bless you for coming today. Because what I saw was a few months from today. But God said to tell you, a few months from today, you will hear that somebody's got the stroke. Fire! I send it back. 
Put your hand on your ears. Say, Father, I cancel bad news. For one, for 30 seconds, begin to rebuke it. Say, I cancel bad news. I cancel it. I cancel it. I cancel it. I cancel it. Sigalavande Saraha. There is somebody here, you had a dream. In the dream, you fell. You fell. Where are you? You had a dream, and in the dream, you fell. Somebody said, I stand as your pastor. And I decree over your life. Any man waiting for you to fall. They will fall for your sake. Fire! Shababala Montaradia. I decree as your pastor. Any man waiting for you to fall. They will fall for your sake. Fire! Nanama kola bashaya. Yakota ne kresila goshkata ne risha katuna la dehesa katoma yakwata ikroteja lakitos rakoton zegita makusha kritus alabanta yakopa ne shika tola mahai Father set him free 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 in the name of Jesus. Please, we need to run up the service. Don't come out for this one. See me privately. You are addicted to masturbation. Don't come out. See me privately. God is telling me that that is a stone that the enemy have used to hold you. The Lord is telling me that that is the stone that the enemy have used to hold you. And as long as you are wrestling with that, you remain where you are. I need to deliver you. Please, see me. See me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, stretch your hands. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the yoke of wickedness. I break the band of wickedness. I decree you are free. Be free. Mommy, please lift up your hands. Let your fire touch me. Touch her with your fire. Jesus name. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I, 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 I deeply apologize for the time we spent. It's, but I had to cut it. Amen. Because if we stay, because the Lord was showing me a lot of, a lot of things that I want, I really want to address, but because of time, we have to stop.